Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo. Um, thank goodness it's the off-season. We are trying to get into a little bit better shape. Um, let me say we have a lot of new people here. Let me drop this down just a little bit. We have a lot of new people here uh, watching the channel. So thank you for all you new subscribers. I am Mark Holmes. I am uh, a guy who likes to eat and loves to cook and loves to entertain and enjoy the fruits of my labor a lot during the football season, which is when things go downhill. What I've found, my version at least of keto, and, and there'll be a lot of people out there that'll say, that's not the best thing, or that's not, you know, perfect keto, or you should do this, that, and the other, because this is really the right way. There's nothing wrong with that, but I will say there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, this is... This is Mark Holmes's take on a high protein, low carb diet. And every time I have done it, it has worked really well for me. Okay, I started about two weeks ago uh, after I got back. Actually, it hasn't been quite two weeks, it's been a week and a half. Um, more than anything else, for me, I think it's just eating better and getting away from the sugar because I love sweets um, and so on. In fact, last night, we've got some drumsticks that are in here um, that I love. I love drumsticks, but I'm strong enough that I didn't need any. But I started thinking about ice cream, and I think I'm going to try something today. Um, but FYI, so... I went to Pennsylvania with, when you're on the road, it's harder to do keto because you're going to eat out a lot and, you know, eating out, of course, and a lot of snackages and things like that, you're going to have problems. And surprisingly, I kind of gained about a pound while I was gone for the four days or five days I was gone. Um, but it's dropped off. So right now I'm sitting at 269, which is, I think 268.8 was where I was, uh, before I left. So I'm right where I was. So that's the good news. Um, it's working so far. So good. I will say I'm eating less and I'm not as hungry as much as I had been. And I've been eating some stuff that's been really good. Now for those out there that are pure keto uh, people, you're going to say, um, I've been using 647, is it 647 bread? 647 bread, it's supposed to be net eight carbs a slice. And we have done some sandwiches with them. And my wife is like, oh my God, we were talking this morning between the tuna melt, the grilled cheese, and the BLT last night, that they have been great. And so that sandwich has got 16 carbs because of the bread. But it kind of still gives you that regular feel. So if I can do this ice cream, and here's what I'm thinking. I was sitting here last night, we were watching television, and I was going through my mind of trying to make like an ice cream. I've done stuff before where I've used, I love my keto bomb. I use this as my sweetener, and I used whipped cream, and basically whipped cream and the sweetener, a little bit of coffee flavor, and froze it, which is very light and airy. But I started thinking about, you know, you got your heavy cream. Heavy cream and like condensed milk is basically what you end up doing to make ice cream. Problem with condensed milk is they boil off the water, they add the sugar to it. So that's not going to work. I've seen different recipes on there to do keto ice cream that use xanthium gum and all. I'm not crazy about the xanthium gums and the almond flowers and things like that. It's just like, it just doesn't have that taste that I like. What I was thinking about trying is because I've seen some coconut milk ice cream. And so, um, where you've got basically just a couple of ingredients. They'll end up using, uh, you know, artificial sweetener, uh, a little bit of vanilla extract, um, and the coconut. But I was thinking about using coconut milk and using the heavy cream and combining that with the vanilla extract 
and use, of course, my Keto Bomb. Um, this one is van French Vanilla to give it the sweet taste to it. So I'm going to try that later on today and see if it works. Um, can't hurt. Can't hurt. Because the, the thing is, I've tried. This is where I think it's a racket. Um, there's so many different, you know, keto things that you can buy. I think the reality is, is a lot of it's just processed and it doesn't taste good. I have to be honest. I, I got these keto pop tarts and, you know, they're too thick and it's overly sweet and, and I'm a sweet tooth and it's just like, it was like $8 for like the three of them that are in the box. It's like, it wasn't worth it. And I've had keto ice cream that I bought in the store, and it's just like the amount of money that you spend on it, it's just not good. So I'm going to try and see what we can come up with that will work um, today. And um, you have a, a vegetarian burger you want to do today? A mushroom She has a mushroom burger. So she's going to try a mushroom burger. I'm going to go ahead and I think just get some hamburger and make just a really nice hamburger with like Swiss cheese and mushrooms. And I'll go ahead and do it. Well, I could actually do it on the bread. <laughs> okay, that would be cheating again. But again, that's 16 carbs. So if I'm careful with my carbs uh, for the day, um, I can do that. I can. Huh? You said put a, do it as a wrap? Yeah, I could wrap it in lettuce, but I kind of like that bread. So, as long as my blood pressure stays good, um, that my breathing stays good, and the weight keeps going down, and, um, oh, I'm beginning to get the clarity. I don't know if you've gotten the keto clarity, where it seems like your mind feels a little more clearer when you're thinking and analyzing stuff. Um, I've got some problems that need solving and stuff and it seems like I've been able to kind of concentrate and come up with different solutions with them. and um, the other thing I find is when I get into keto is I don't sleep as much either you know a lot of times you eat like a real big heavy meal and it's just like you want to pass out I don't get that when I'm doing keto so there you have it I start out and here's what's it's uh, really good because I've got some work to do after I got to go up and do my morning video and then I'm rebuilding a set of porch steps I got to make a landing and the steps and stuff and it's gonna be in the 80s outside so I'll be out sweating and things the funny thing is is I'll be nursing on my coffee until like maybe two or three o'clock in the afternoon the reality is is if I didn't use my coffee creamer I'd be fasting every day because that's kind of what I do um, but so far it's working pretty good. We're down six and a half pounds in the 10 days, 10 days, 11 days that we've been doing this. And I feel pretty good. Let's get this coffee and I'll feel great. And if you want to know my recipe for my coffee, um, I do have a whole video on exactly what I do for it. But basically, I use my Keto Bomb coffee creamer. And the only place I've been, it used to buy it on Amazon. Amazon, they kind of stopped carrying it. Or it's buying it like third party and it's like an arm and three legs. Walgreens, some of them will have them. But I put a shot of whipped cream on them. And I like a little taste of cinnamon. And my heavy cream. And, um... I think that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at that cinnamon and everything on there. Mm. I love it. It's like in the morning if I don't have my keto coffee bomb, it's just like the coffee's not the same. Let me know um, in the comments if you're doing keto or dieting and things like that, um, any questions you have for me, the way I do stuff, um, like I said, um, I still use regular butter because it's affordable. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, when you go ahead and get the the uh, keto butter and stuff, it's it's, it's not cheap. 
you know, the, the, the what is it called? The butter we used to get. Um, Carry Yeah, something like that. But it's the, uh, yeah. That, it's, it's not cheap. It's, the stuff's not cheap. The butter in your coffee no, but when I cook, I cook with a lot of butter on the vegetables and everything else. But, you know, there's some things that I just, I just, it's just too expensive. So trying to do keto on a budget, at least for me, on so many things. And um, it's just some of the things on keto, I'm just not, like I said, the xanthium gum. To, I, I'd rather make my clam chowder just a little thinner and not put the xanthium gum. Or use cream cheese instead um, as a thickener. Oh, cream chip beef. That's another one of those ones. Oh, using heavy cream and cream cheese. I'm not going to use the xanthium gum or the, or the almond flour. All right, but leave in the comments what you're doing, uh, how bad I'm doing as far as my keto version and stuff like that, or uh, anything that you're looking that you'd like me to try and cook and fix. Um, I'll probably do later on this week maybe some keto crab cakes, which is just basically not using the bread because everything else with crab cakes is actually pretty much keto. Um, I'll probably do um, shrimp and grits, but the grits will be made out of cauliflower. That sausage and the spicy, oh, that, that's another really good one for keto. And probably you'll be doing a burger today. Look out for the BLT one that I did yesterday. That'll be out today, too. Have a good one. Peace out.